We are Nigel and Sue and we've spent the last two years travelling Australia living in our self-converted van. In this episode we are visiting Perth, Western Australia and today we are hunting some giants. Today we are in Perth. Now it's not often you'll find us in a city. We're not really city people. Nope. But, but we're off to find some giants. Yeah, we're on a bit of an adventure to find the Thomas Danbo giants of Mandurah. Although we're in Subiaco, so there's five giants I think or five or six but one of them is got lost so he's here in Subiaco in the center of Perth city and we're going to find him first because then we're going to head south. Not really set up for vans in this uh, part of the city but uh, have a little walk and uh, check him out. So we have found the first or actually the last giant this one's called Billy Bob and apparently he got lost from all of his friends. He's lying down, having a bit of a rest. Let's go have a closer look. The search for the giants has been created as a game and woven into the game is the indigenous myth of the Binjareb Noonga people on how the waterways were created. Well, the attention to detail is great when you look at the hand underneath his face near his ear. And the, look at the shape in the back. The contours, when you look at the shape of the back, they're amazing. So while we're in Subiaco, we have stopped at Nigel's favourite pizza place in Australia. Let me show you. It's Pizza by the Slice. So Delicio became a favourite of mine whilst I was living here in Perth. It's absolutely fantastic. The genuine uh, pizza from Rome, Rome style, the, the, I forget the gentleman's name, but he's won many awards nationally for his pizza. Uh, for good reason, it's just beautiful. So um, it's good to be back. The old place was around the corner in a much pokier restaurant. Not even half the size of this, and so with the popularity, he's built a new one. So you've got to check it out if you like the pizza. Tuck in. And what have you got there, Oh, so this is the um, uh, mushroom trio. Three styles, types of mushroom, and almost like a cappuccosa for the other one. What do you have? I have the potato and rosemary, an absolute favourite, and then the caprese which is just the tomato and bocconcini. Got to add the chilli oil, sprinkle some of that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good to go. How good it's is so it? So good. Oh, it's as good as I remember, if not better. So good. So they do have outdoor seating here, which of course we would normally sit at. However, it's 38 degrees today, so we elected to sit inside in the aircon. Not today, Zerg. Mm. So oh, now we. Oh, that was a taste sensation. It was so good, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. When are we coming back? <laughs> I think you all know how much we love our pizza. <laughs> oh, we want to taste takeaway, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could. Yeah. No, I promise not. <laughs> I promised Nigel that we would come back when we come back to Perth. Yeah. 
because he's got to fly out from here to go to work in a couple of weeks sadly we will be back we will be back i just realized i did that whole last section of video with a big piece of rosemary in my teeth i hope it wasn't too visible friends we have just arrived to check out the second giant which is actually the first according to the set map this giant is known as Santi Icto and it's along this beach path great activity for the young kids and this one is a little bit of a walk but it's a nice spot to walk It's just love photo bombing. Oh yeah, totally. So we've walked a couple of hundred meters along this path and we've just spotted the giant up ahead. Well, this giant's got the life. He's sitting here looking out over the ocean. I mean, how lucky is that? So there's a symbol hiding on each of the giants and the idea is that we take those symbols and put them into the code cracker at the end which will give us the location of the final giant. We've come back to visit Santiago on a day where it's much calmer. There's way less people here. We wanted to get some really good shots, which we didn't get last time we were here. So it's looking really good today. Because it's such a crazy hot day today, we decided once we had been over and seen the giant to take a swim, it's actually quite a nice little beach here and there's a little like platform where you can look out there's quite a few boats around and we saw a couple of kids spear fishing and they'd caught a flathead of course where there's water involved that means one thing for Nigel and I give that one a 2 out of 10 so this next giant is called, oh I've forgotten its name, Albatross. It's not called Albatross, oh. it's called Seba's Song. So we're going to walk uh, just over a kilometre along this path to get to this one. And he's come into view, looking out over the uh, water. Well, whilst this one is a short walk to get to Seba, what I love about this whole concept is that it gets people off their bums and walking a few steps. It's great. A bit of exercise, fresh air, out of the house, a bit of nature. It's, it's, uh, it's a wonderful concept. That was like part of the whole purpose of from Thomas Dambo of creating this these giants and this whole game so it, it triggers people's curiosity there's a whole heap of emotions that it stirs up and you know he, he ties in the um the indigenous myth story around the giants so yeah it's, it's just neat i like it in the indigenous myth during a time of drought three elders went to the ocean to pray to their creator woggle who came to them in the shape of a snake. The snake gave birth and its young created the shape of the waterways and the rivers. Along with this myth is also Dambo's own poem about the importance of water and how the cycle of rain is created and the importance of rain and water for the land. So one of the really cool things about this giant adventure is that all the walks t uh, start from car parks so it's quite accessible now this one that we've just been down is completely paved all the way could totally get there with a wheelchair or a pram and in fact we've seen quite a lot of families making their way down there as we've been walking back there are toilets here picnic shelters so it's really well set up so we have mentioned a couple of times that one of the giants was sadly burned by an arsonist which is just really sad we're actually going looking to see if we can see that um 
I did have a friend who has been here and who's given me a Google pin. Thank you, Tess. So we found where it was, the log with the symbol and the QR code still remains. This would have been really beautiful. This is so, so sad. Like, what's wrong with people? Look here, look how he's lying down. Uh, almost, you know, pre, pre the pain of being uh, torched. That's very sad, isn't it? So the story goes that he's lying down like that. He's listening for the water in the ground yeah. in part of that creation myth. Yeah. The next giant that we're coming to see is called Little Louie. And it's right in the middle of a brand new housing development. And some entrepreneurial soul has set up a coffee van here. Clever person. There's a nice park, lovely place to sit down. Morning. Hi there. Yeah, let's go uh, find the giant. So this trail is 3.6 kilometers. We're gonna need a coffee when we get back from that, Nigel. Indeed. Because it's already half past it's 10. Yeah, always yeah, hanging out. We are wearing thongs, which it's the Aussie. It's the Aussie way. Yeah, it's nice. This park's really nice. This giant's really out in the bush. Well, apart from the fact that we're along like along the motorway. <laughs> Lucky there's a few little arrows pointing us in the right direction. Um, this trail, however, is a bit rough and a bit sandy. We just saw a kid that had come a cropper on his scooter. So. I almost blew a plugger. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, not suitable for wheelchairs or prams. Wear your sneakers. Probably. Yeah. Now, unlike the other giants, which are pretty much out in the open, little Louie is hiding away in the trees. Sneaky. Sneaky little Louie. So behind us, they have a solar panelled security camera. Because this one would be an easy target. It's out in the middle of nowhere. So. People can't be trusted. Yeah. Oh, so he's been built into this fallen tree. That is so cool. So we have seen all of the giants now, except one. And we've made it here to the Mandara Visitor Centre. And here is the code cracker. Now, I haven't touched that yet. So apparently you spin the code and somehow maybe you can just click on the QR code thing. I don't know if you actually have to spin the code, but that's the idea. That unlocks the location of the hidden giant. Friends, we're having trouble cracking the code. <laughs> We've checked it two or three times and we're sure we're right, but it's telling us we're incorrect. <laughs> do I do it on my phone? Yeah, do it on your phone. Okay, friends, here's the thing. Now, we thought we had to enter the symbols in the order that we saw the giants that's in the map. However, that's not the case. What you need to do is come to the totem pole and use the symbols on the totem pole. So they are, we'll give starting you this from, one hint. Yeah, starting from, starting from the top. The top. Work down. And on each thing that you can spin around on the totem pole, there will be one symbol that you found. So you put them into the code breaker, which comes up on your phone once you scan the QR code. You put them in in that order. We had to actually go into the visitor center and find that out. We got a bit confused. We now have the secret location of the last giant. We're going to go find that. So friends, we are making our way to the hidden secret giant. Without giving too much away, we're walking along a rather sandy bush path. So we made it to the final hidden giant. And I, don't know, I think this one might just be my favorite. I just love that he's hugging a tree. Oh, yeah. You are a tree hugger. 
<laughs> yeah, I guess I kind of am. This is just beautiful. So big thanks to Thomas Dambo, the artist, the city of Mandara, the local indigenous community and everyone else who made this installation possible. It's absolutely mm. amazing. If you get the chance to come down, you can do them all in a day. We would suggest starting from Perth um, and making your way so south down to Mandara and yeah, finishing up with this one. Just and, and as the sun goes down and having a lemonade down near the coast. Yeah. Perfect. You. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give us a thumbs up or drop a comment down below. Big thanks to our Patreons for supporting the production of this and all our videos. We really appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. See ya.